Hey guys, um, got a couple packages in today. I actually all came all at the same time. I got three, so I figured, hey, we can uh, try to do an unboxing video, the very first one. Um, we got three, like I said. Uh, one of them from Amazon. Uh, and then the other two are from two Instagrammers, I guess you would call them. Uh, one from World of Woodcraft and another from Aaron uh, who I don't know his username right now but I guess I'll put it in the description uh, yeah let's uh let's unbox these guys let's see first we'll start off with the one from Amazon and there it is. Let it work. So we got a couple things. Um, Everyday Tactical on Instagram posted this up about a little titanium pry bar by Schrade. And I've been meaning to get one. And so I figured, hey, what the heck? Why not? Got this pretty cool thing. Got a hex, bottle opener, seat belt cutter, screwdriver, pry bar, you know, something to just carry in my pocket to do quick little easy tasks. It is super duper light, must say. I guess it's because it's titanium. But yeah, I just wanted something to fit in my pocket where, you know, a, a knife would be a little too, I don't know, scary to pull out, especially if you're pulling out like a like this guy in public can scare some people off so just need some basic cutting or opening of packages this can bust right through the tape just rip it open so far so good it is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be uh, that's what she said <laughs> but yeah so that's the first thing and next um, some of the guys on uh, Instagram and YouTube kind of post up a bunch of pictures of their knives, but also their lights, and I kind of got jealous. I mean, I've been using this guy, MagSafe, which is, or MagLite, sorry, which is what, you know, I've been using my whole life, just just moving on, but decided to step up the game. Saw this guy, the Phoenix PD32 Ultimate Edition, and, uh, oh, Oh, that's a surprise. I guess it comes with batteries. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see. Let's pull this guy out. So we got the packaging. 740 lumens, which is pretty insane considering what I'm used to is about 125 on this guy. So it comes with a, this is the one drawback that I see on YouTube is that the, I don't know, holder or sheath, as you can call it, that is a little flimsy, which it is, but you know, it's, it's meant to hold the flashlight. Most of the time, we'll probably have it in my pocket anyways. It does come with a lanyard, two batteries, which I wasn't expecting, which is nice. Probably pick up uh, some more from my own. Got a diffuser here, which is always good. And the light itself. The light itself without the batteries is pretty pretty light. It's pretty lightweight. Let's see if you can get this cap off. Get the batteries in there. Oh. Pretty good. Uh, probably have to do a separate review if I ever start doing reviews on this guy. So far, so good. Fits well in the hand. It's got a momentary mode. Guess that works. Oh. 
There it is, ultra bright. All right, so that was from Amazon. I decided to get the flashlight on a whim. I uh, wasn't really looking for one, but I kind of saw it. Click the buy now button, and here it is, two days later. Um, next would be a package from Luke or World of Woodcraft uh, from Instagram. Uh, he does these crazy amazing custom scales for knives. A lot of it is for ZT. And this one's actually for my ZT0561. Um, saw his work, contacted him, uh, emailed him, said, hey, what does it take to get one of your scales on my knife? Um, sh shot back some emails back and forth. Uh, super friendly guy, amazing customer service, I'd say. Uh, got back to me, sent me videos of the work as he was working on it, sent me awesome pictures, got me super excited. Um, let's see here, let's go ahead and open this up. Got my Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, this piece, this particular piece is made from walnut. I did ask him to make it a little bit darker so he stained it. Uh, let's see here. Let's open this guy up. Kind of excited. Haven't seen it in person. All I've been hearing online and on Instagram is just how amazing this looks in person. I mean, it looks great in the pictures that Luke took. So here it is. Oof, that is nice. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be, which is good because this knife is pretty heavy. But that is nice. This lighting does not do it justice here. Like, probably going to take it outside sometime and just take some pictures. But you can kind of see here as I put it on there. Fit and finish is amazing uh, as far from initial impressions. A little preview of what it would look like right here. Probably take this outside and take some pictures of it, but it's great. I love the darker wood. London Woodcraft, number 17. It's pretty awesome. If he even put that on the outside, I don't think I would mind at all. That's awesome. Uh, probably gonna have to take the scale off of this one, which he does have a tutorial on, uh, his suggestion on how to do it, which seems pretty easy. It's just pop it in and out, so. Pretty cool. I need to get better lighting in my room here so that you guys can see just how awesome this looks. It's kind of got this uh, tiger striping almost. And as I move it around, don't know if you can see as it glistens, but it kind of changes the shade. The stripes get thicker and thinner. Overall, amazing work. It's super smooth. Uh, gonna be awesome all right let's see what else is here oh, got some some wood there just to protect it which is good because it came perfect no scratches nothing get it on there in a bit uh, next package was from a knife sale I once again on Instagram uh, Aaron basically put up one of my grails for sale and I decided to pull the trigger. Um, the crazy thing that I've learned from the knife world is that even if you buy one of your grails, there's always going to be another one up there. Um, you know, it starts off small, uh, like this Benchmade Griptilian. I had a regular Griptilian in 440C and... I was like, oh, I should, I should upgrade this. Something a little bit smaller, easier to carry. So I saw this guy on the forums and I decided to buy it. S30V blade, stone washed the blade myself. Uh, and now I thought I'd be happy, you know, but as any knife nut knows, there's more and more and more. Um, as I got into knives, you know, the next grail was the paramilitary two, 
which for some reason is super hard to find. Uh, so when I saw this on the forums again, definitely picked one up, picked up another one with a black blade. Uh, but it is not a blade you can easily find now. That's why it was one of my grails. Super awesome knife. Um, from there, I went to the uh, SHOT Show Griptilian, which is another grail. I haven't even cut anything with this thing. Just pretty much my save queen just because I have two other Griptilians to use. Just kind of first real limited edition blade I owned. And I obviously uh, the ZT0561 was one of my grails. One of my first or my second grail. And here comes one of the main grails I would say that any knife nut would have. Let's open this guy up. Let's see here. I know that there's tape and we can just probably cut the tape, but uh, it's a lot more fun to cut the cardboard with, with a knife. So here it is. Um, the Chris Reeves Zabenza. Zabenza. Uh, I put up a post on Instagram uh, trying to decide between a 25, a Sabenza 25 or Umnum Zan, and uh, got neither of those. I saw this guy, decided, hey, it's 25s are out of stock, and I'll probably get one down the road, but I really want something that's a little bit more simple, a little bit more classic. And I wanted to try out the uh, Chris Reeve uh, bushing, pivot bushing, which neither the 25 or the Onunzan have it anymore. So I thought I would uh, have one of these guys. Got the Chris Reeves st or sticker, the blade. Uh, Aaron left in the tool, which is cool. We also have the uh, cloth. We got some stickers. What I want to see is the birthday card. So here it is. Um, Aaron sent me a picture of the birthday card and of course it's a large Sapenza 21 S35 VN. Uh, the thing that caught me off guard was uh, this uh, Rockwell hardness of uh, 55 to 57. Um, did a little bit of research and I've only found one other post where this was uh, 55 to 57 on the Sabenza. And uh, it looks like people are saying it's a misprint. Maybe I'll uh, contact the people at Chris Reeves and kind of get some clarification. But January 19th, 2012, uh, plain titanium handle. Let's just take a look at this guy. Uh, this is going to be my first. Sabenza I've ever owned. Probably gonna have more. Uh, I can just see it kind of snowballing from to the Sabenza to you know some striders or hinders. Uh, it's a never-ending story with knives unfortunately. But here it is. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But it is a darker titanium. It's a little bit darker than I thought. You know, which is which is not bad. I do like the darker tones. You got a brown and looks like bronze or brass or bronze titanium lanyard. Also, the pin is bronzed. Now, blue anodized. Now, the big thing with this, with the pivot bushing, I wanted to basically get this blade for was just the feel uh, just how smooth it is let's check it out detent oh yeah that's pretty smooth <laughs> let's try it out again nope so this spends is a lot big I, I mean I read all the stats but I never saw one in person uh, the large is definitely bigger than what I expected. So here it is. 
Here's a large. Here it is against the uh, shot show grip. So 3.6, 3.5, I think. The uh, ZT561, which has a 3.75. So from the pivots to the tip, it's not that much. You can see the cutting edge differs a little bit. But it is as smooth as they say it is as it comes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty centered. Let's see, here. there's a little bit of scratches on it, which I honestly don't mind just because I was probably going to scratch it up too. But a knife is meant to be used. Um, especially this guy has a lifetime warranty. There's some scratches on here, but that's fine. That's to be expected. This one was actually a uh, uh, YouTuber, J Davis's, J Davis 882, from what Aaron told me. He bought it a sale from him. But overall, feels good in hand. No <laughs> super solid lockup. Uh, this is it's pretty, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's great. Super smooth. Once you get past the detent, which is a little little tough, but can't be worse than this guy. I think this probably has one of the strongest detents of all my knives, but yeah. Speechless, I guess. Let's look at the lock up here. Lockup is about, I would say, 55 to 60%. I don't foresee it moving because that's all I've heard is that these Sabenzas do not move. Super smooth. Yeah, that is that is nice. This will probably be in my pocket for a while. All right. Well, that's all three packages. Probably going to play around with them. You guys don't need to see that. Uh, we'll probably be posting a lot, a lot of pictures up on Instagram starting tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice night.